Hi, I'm Stephanie Metz, and for the past 16 years I've been making wool sculpture that people find enormously tempting to touch because it looks so soft and inviting. So sometimes at exhibition openings, I'll invite the people hovering over the work to touch it under my supervision. And the reaction I see again and again is a wow and turning to their neighbor to share, whether that's the person they came with or a total stranger. I love it that these things I create out of this unusual material cause strangers to share moments of wonder. And I want to make that happen more on a larger scale. So I decided to make larger touchable sculpture out of felt. So two years ago, I started with concepts for two different kinds of interactive situations. One gallery full of human-sized hanging pods, cocoon-like sculptures meant to spark curiosity in a meditative environment, and the other gallery that would be a more playful space, filled with holdables, stitched industrial felt sculptures that were more geometric but still organic, appearing solid and heavy like stone, but actually lightweight, meant to encourage play and uh, creative interpretations. I'm calling these bodies of work in touch for, well, pretty obvious reasons. And the Dace SA Museum at Santa Clara University offered me an exhibition for this upcoming January 2020, where this totally free, interactive public art experience will be up for 20 weeks until June. For two years, I've been hand-making the work for the show, and I've brought my community on board to make it happen. Studio assistants and volunteers have been helping me needle felt and stitch the sculptures, and the response to the project so far has been overwhelmingly enthusiastic. The sculpture itself is only a part of InTouch. What I'm really interested in is the way visitors will interact with the sculpture and with each other. And that's where this gets tricky. Because this project is meant for free public consumption. It's an experiment in connecting with others in a novel way, but it's not a commercial endeavor. I don't have a corporate sponsor or a major donor or the Pope backing me up. And there are very few grants available for individual artist projects. But I think InTouch needs to exist, and so I'm making it. And I'm reaching out to you because I think you may feel the same way and want to help. I've been raising funds from sales of related drawings and other art, some small grants, and individual donors. But there's still a ways to go in this last half year of making. And now I need to get a steel armature made to suspend the hanging pods, since the museum's ceiling can't. I also need to pay studio assistance and cover the ongoing expense of this big studio necessary to make this big work. Getting to touch things in a museum, especially mysterious, soft, and squishy things, will be a novel and satisfying experience. Engaging in a hands-on way in the real world with other real people and sharing experiences is something I think a lot of us want more of. If you also value this kind of free, accessible, hands-on, satisfying public art experience, then for the cost of a movie ticket, or taking your family to the movies, or heck, you could take your whole neighborhood to the movies, you can help me complete this project and bring InTouch to life. Thank you.